So, um, I thought I'd do a voiceover um, just to kind of wrap up all my vlogs that I've been doing while I was here in Cunnell. So, unfortunately, this is the last of the video of my 2017 vacation to um, Cunnell, Northern Nigeria. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I just did some footage while um, we were driving along State Road and um, I kind of don't know what to do with it so I thought I'd stick it in the beginning of this video and um, I just want to take the opportunity to thank everyone for watching and for the comments and feedback and likes and interest that you've shown in Cunnell. Of course it's been a pleasure for me to film and share my experience and um, yeah, share it with um, people who ha who are from Cunnell and people who know nothing about Cunnell but who have been enlightened. So sit back, relax and enjoy the very last of my Cunnell 2017 vlogs. So this is a traditional Hausa style henna. A uh, henna is quite common in parts of um, Africa. Asia and the Middle East. Um, it's very popular in Muslim culture. It's not part of Islam, like religiously. It doesn't really have a religious significance, but it's a cultural thing of Islam. Um, so you're most likely to find it in um, Muslim cultures or countries that you know have predominant Muslim population. It's very common for um, beautification. Um, also known as zina in Arabic. Um, it's traditionally used for beautifying brides in many um, Muslim cultures, but it's also used as decoration for special occasions like Eid, so with Eid coming up, um, this is very popular. But this here, even though it looks like it's coming up as um, red henna, it will actually come up black on my skin. And this is the um, young girl who's doing it for me. She's actually an expert. Um, that you can see she's doing it very fast and very expertly. And um, I don't even have to instruct her on what designs I want. She's actually doing it really, um, it's marvelous. Wonderful. So pretty. I've just put on the flash so you can have a better view of the intimate design and detail of what she's doing to the tips of my fingers. So professional, look at how fast it is for her. She's actually even better than the last the last lady who used to do it for me. She was like really good. But I think this young lady here might just have st stolen her crown. <laughs> wow, I couldn't do this. It's such an art in itself. I painted my nails pink because I don't like the actual henna stain on my fingernails. I don't like it. So just to protect it, um, I decided to give my nails a coat of pink polish, which obviously I will remove when it's time to pray, probably later on. But for now, I'm wearing pink. I think it goes quite nicely, the pink with the, um, with the black henna. I think it looks quite nice. No, because I don't trust you touching it.
Ini ada tanah tak So there's just been a power cut and I'm just getting ready to um, go out again for the second time today. So um, I'm going for a pizza, a takeaway actually, I'm going to take it away. But I need to go and get it because um, the place that actually deliver it, I can't get hold of them. And I want to try another place that don't deliver. So um, I went out earlier and I had the problem with the security and um, literally it wasn't even as simple as like they told me to stop filming they were actually like delete the footage and I went back and forth it was really something honestly and I was just saying you know I can't believe this is 2017 and people still don't get the concept if you're just filming yourself anyway I came back and I said I was gonna have um, my henna done and I'm so disappointed so I filmed it which you would have seen. I filmed the girl doing it and it's so disappointing. I'm so, 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 so disappointed how it turned out. I'm actually a bit ashamed of it. I'm, I'm gonna show you. Now, the girl who previously used to do it, I lost contact with her, I have no idea where she is, but she was really good. She was really, really good and she was um, so diligent and artistic. And this girl here, I honestly thought she knew what she was doing. It looked like she knew what she was doing. I was like, wow, you know, she really knows her stuff. And this is how my hand has ended up. It's a complete pig's ear. It's like a, she's made a total dog's dinner. Like she put the red, I didn't want the red. She said, let me do the red because the red traditionally in Hausa culture, um, we use red for the inside of the hand, what do you call this? The palm, that's it, the palm. We use it for the palm and then we decorate the back with black and this is for like it doesn't have to be for weddings so brides have it done but for Eid and stuff and obviously like Eid is just around the corner and literally oh my god like last time I had it done I went back to London and I went through Paris like literally from the time I stepped on the plane people were like wow it looks so amazing people were coming up to me in Charles de Gaulle airport like can we see your hands can we see your feet I'm not even going to show you my feet because I'm so ashamed it's such a disgrace. It's literally a dog's dinner. And she's made the red, is, has run into the black, has run into the red. It's just a mess. Like, look how mess, I've changed my nail polish. It was pink earlier and I took it off, even though I thought the pink looked better. But to match the inside, I put red, it just looks awful. Let me show you properly. I know, cause I'm filming um, at night, so let me show you. I'll show you properly. So this is one hand and it's just so awful. I feel so ashamed. I feel like literally just like wiping it all off. I really do. Like it, I can't believe how terrible it looks. So that's my left hand and I'll show you my right hand. It's equally ugly. So this is the interior and the, the orange has run into, the black has run into the orange it's awful it's so horrible like i just feel like everyone's like to me oh it's not that bad like everyone admits as well that she's not as good as the other girl who used to do it but they're like you know it's not that bad you know it's fine just you know get over it but i honestly i honestly want to take it all off i honestly want to take it all off it's not how i wanted it at all i'm so disappointed like look at that it's just like <laughs> It's awful. It's really awful. Anyway, if anyone wants the pizza more than I do, you know what? Like, I actually have been eating far less. I've, all I've had for iftar today is two corsé or bean cakes, two or three, and about four capri suns, which obviously the sugar and the capri sun, but whatever. So we're off to get a pizza and um, yeah, pick up the soap, that damn soap that. I couldn't find, oh, I found in ShopRite, but I had all that drama anyway. Yeah, that's it, so. So I am outside Al Sultan Eatery in Kano. This is on Aldebarko Road, and um, it's a really nice place. I don't sit in here to eat, because I just don't, um, but it's a really nice place. They've got amazing food. Um, they make, like, Arab so Lebanese runs. Um, is run by a Lebanese guy and he's really really nice 
Um, I you know me, I'm all for customer service and the food is a really good quality. I was actually going to go to um, Wellcare to buy the pizza. I didn't know they made pizzas here. And I said to him, oops, let me turn this music off before I get copyrighted. Um, and I was like, oh, um, let me go to uh, Wellcare and get some pizza. And he was like, no, 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 look, I own the place opposite. I'll make you the pizza. And I was like, yeah, it saves me the journey to go all the way to Wellcare. And like I said, his food's really, really good quality. And he's such a, like, nice guy. So I was, like, happy. So if you are in Kanu, make sure you check out Al Sultan restaurant. Um, the food, honestly, it's it's really nice and good quality. And, um, you know, I, don't, I mean, I don't sit here to eat or anything. There's many, many Lebanese eateries, but... Um, obviously this is a family run one um, I know the guy who owns the place and you know I trust that you know it's a really they're really clean they've got like nice staff and um, even do deliveries and stuff so oh there's my pizza say hi hi so we're back um, we're back from Al Sultan I didn't have to go to crappy well care actually well care is not quite crap crap well care isn't crap but I like Al Sultan because I like the guy so um, we got a pizza and then I got this too which is a plate of um, chips and beef and salad um, let me quickly show you I'll give you a sneak peek Here it is. Um, I believe this is Lebanese style food it's just french fries with um, beef and a salad I love Lebanese food just like I like Lebanese guys <laughs> Lebanese food is just, yeah, it's not my favourite, but I love it. My favourite food is Indian and Italian food. And then, then Al Sultan pizza, the moment of truth that the girls have been waiting for. It's pizza time. And it's gorgeous. So we're going to go and... We're going to go and tuck in. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Nani, we are doing that. Can you drink that? Can you drink that?